Look, are you having a challenge getting things done in your business, your way, on time? Have you ever talked to your chef, your kitchen manager, your bar manager, your GM, hell, anybody in your business, ask them to do something for you, they tell you yes, yet when you get to that deadline, when you think it's supposed to be done, they haven't done anything at all? Well, it's pretty frustrating. See, there's a lot to do and you need help. So you need to learn how to successfully delegate and I'm gonna show you how to successfully delegate in about two seconds. Hello everybody, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I gotta tell you, I feel your pain. Why? Because I suck, I create work. When we help you with your business, we start getting you to do weekly inventories. We start doing recipe costing cards, 40 to 60 man hours. We do shelf to sheet inventory. I mean, I mean, you do all these things. Well, no matter how good you think you are, you can't do it yourself. Hell, I can't do it myself in any one of your restaurants, even if you are a $350,000 pizza place or a $10 million full service fine dining restaurant. This same stuff has to happen in each business and you need help. So you need to be able to successfully delegate. And I'm gonna give you five steps that I'll guarantee you will get things done your way on time. See, what we've gotta do is change how you delegate. You just don't walk up to somebody and say, hey, I need recipe costing cards. Well, they'll say, yeah, I'll get them done. No, you say, I want recipe costing cards done in a month. They say, yeah, okay, I'll get them done. And in a month, you get nothing. Well, how do we ensure that's gonna happen? I'm going to give you five steps right now to successfully delegate. Number one, be specific and clear. Make sure you're clear on what you want done. Hey, chef, I need recipe costing cards done by the end of the month. Well, he'll say yes, she'll say yes, and you don't have any recipe cards over and over again. But instead, you say, first of all, write this down. If you're watching this video, write this down. Chef, I'd like recipe costing cards done by the end of the month. Is that reasonable? Make sure they have buy-in. Because chef may say, hey, I'm so glad you asked. We've got our busiest catering month of the, uh, of the year, and I've got two cooks short in the kitchen. Can I have more time? We say, what is reasonable? Hey, they'll say three months. You go, hey, if I get you front of house help, can I get it done in two? And they say, yes, now you have buy-in. Step two, define what success looks like. Hey, when you're done, I wanna make sure that we understand it's not just recipe costing cards, just the uh, card, it's the recipe cost card, how we cost it out, but I also want procedures in there. I want a recipe book on how we cook, where we may cost it out by the ounce, but we use it by the cup, whatever it may be. And I wanna have all the product knowledge in there. Like we use Vidalia onions, which are exceptionally sweet and come from one crop a year. So we have three books when we're done. We've got a recipe costing card book, we've got a recipe book on how we cook, and we've got a training book for the front of house. That's very different than I want recipe costing cards done. Well, now we put that all together. Next thing you do is you need to let it go. You need to let them do their job. But I don't want you to micromanage and I don't want you to advocate and ignore what's going on. In fact, I'm gonna double check on you. So we're gonna create milestones throughout the process. So let's say by the end of this week, can I have five recipe cards done, chef? Chef says, yeah, fantastic. Then I'm setting up for five. So now we're gonna follow up on that. We get three days into this, this week and I say, hey chef, how are the recipe cards come? And they go, they're doing great boss. You're like, fantastic. Well, normally you'd walk away, get to Friday, you have nothing. The new you, says we're gonna to continually to communicate, that's step four. You're now from the state of Missouri, why? What is the Missouri? What do we see on their license plate? It's the show me state. We say, chef, how are the recipe costing cards coming? Chef goes, doing great. You say, great, show me. There is no conflict, there's no I don't believe you, there's no nothing, it's my job to ensure the process is working. So I may find that chef didn't do anything, in fact, down another cook and says, can I have another week? Nobody said you couldn't say yes. You may find out that chef didn't, didn't do any because chef doesn't know how to do recipe cards. They're old school. They've done everything from their, from their brain. They generally know what things cost. They've never done the math part. Well, now I have an opportunity to teach chef and make sure we get it done. What if chef actually did them and did them wrong? Because there was a mistake somewhere and they keep duplicating the same mistake. You don't want them to get three months into the process, two months in the process and find out at the deadline that everything was wrong. You got to start all over. So what I do is by saying, show me, by continually communicating, having these milestones, I ensure a chef stays on pace. And then last but not least, number five, step five, is recognition and reward. Look, whether it's a pat on the back, an attaboy, whether it's a bonus, movie tickets, 
trade with another restaurant to take their, their family out to dinner, I don't care what it is, but a genuine thank you. Because what they've done for you makes a difference in your business. So remember, be specific and clear. Define what success looks like. Let it go. Continued communication, recognition, and reward. Follow those five steps, and I guarantee you, you're going to get things done. This is David Scott Peters. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe now to my YouTube channel. But before you go, download my free report. You'll find the link below in the description section. And be sure not to miss these other videos with expert tips to help you run your restaurant.